Hello, you wonderful people. Thanks for coming back to Gallant Griffin. Okay, can I get my mouse up here for once? Oh, there we go. Cool. Um, yeah, hello. Welcome to Gallant Griffin. We're welcome back to Deltarune Chapter 2. Um, in this episode, uh, well, in last episode, what happened was we finally fought Queen and our beloved Burnley right here, and we had some romantic moments and stuff. There's a love triangle. And in this episode, um, it could be the finale episode. I don't know. I don't know the pacing on this, so we'll see. We're at least getting close. Because, like, that had to be, like, definitely a final fight. But. Unless this is. The night. Wait. Hello, boys. The night. The roaring night. Today, it deigned to create this world. <laughs> Reaching its long hand to the sky, it coursed its will into its blade. It made, thrusting the fountain from the earth. Unfortunately, the world they created is trapped within the confines of the library. If only we had a way to make more darkness, we might be able to cover the whole world. That is when I realized this power, this power of the will. This power of determination. Is this not something that all lightness possess? Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. If one was simply determined enough, could not anyone make a dark fountain? So then, if the knight has taken its leave, then I will simply make a new one. Oh. I don't like the implications of that. No, honey, darling, sweetie gravy. How do you find the giant hand? Great, and how do you feel about world domination? Ooh. Oh, ouchie, mama. <laughs> she just got clapped. <laughs> S -S Susie, you, you came to save me. Somehow, I, I, I knew you would. <laughs> uh, you did? Um, I mean, I, um, well... Wait, 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 wait. You need to get out of here. Hurry. Huh? Um. Okay, then. There's something in my eye, I think. C Queen? Seems that you failed to notice. The giant freaking robot in the middle of my palace. Th this isn't good. She's she's invincible like this. Huh? She she's been bragging about her final form all day. <laughs> Is that what you call a gamer girl? <laughs> you think growing a few inches is gonna help? Ooh. Yes. Oh <laughs> jeez. Oh my goodness! I just spat on my microphone. Give me a moment. That is disgusting. Are we cool to take over the world now? S Susie, let's just give up and- Hello if we're giving up now. S Susie? So what if you got another form? We've got one too. Chris, Rose, come on. D oh yeah. <laughs> what was it um, from earlier with like what was it, the game or whatever? Well, what are you doing? This is our ultimate. Uh, well, wait a sec, now that you mention it. Oh no, it appears I am evenly matched. I hope you won't mind if I don't hold back. Oh. Well. We're falling. Any bright ideas on how we're getting out of this one? Um, we could try flapping our arms. They are not. Your knights in glow in the dark armor is here. Birdly? Oh my goodness. <gasps> the bumper cars! Let's go! Chris, Susie, I can't do much for you like this. So I found help for you. Behold, comrades. On your quest against Queen. You've made all sorts of buddies, right? Using our junk making skills, we modified everyone to work together. I shall also take credit for this. Oh my goodness, we got everyone. The gang's all here. Chris, Susie, behold, the ultimate group project. 
<laughs> with a splendid base. Flashing lights. Oh, wait. Oh, and that wasn't him. Happy bravery. Meow. My energy. Tender loving care. Fresh cooking. Oh, frick, I forgot her voice. Um, organization. <laughs> and most stiff of all, whatever I, this thingeth is. Where's, like, the salesman? Oh my goodness, imagine if the salesman is the knight. I'm kidding. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be cursed, isn't it? Finally, a worthy opponent. Round one. Oh, oh, we're doing this. Giga Queen blocks the way. Can't, let's well, just fight. Wait, can we do anything? Oh, okay. So we just gotta fight for now. Boom. The time for words is over. Now's the time to fight. On. Okay, I remember how to do this. It smells like gigantic batteries. Better dodge. Okay, that's probably something I. Is it permanent though, or is it just for one round? I feel like it'd be permanent. I should defend at some point though. Ha ah, just kidding, I totally will keep monologuing as I kick out your face. Dang, those legs though. I mean, what? I'm not burgly, I'm not a simp. Punch during Queen's turn with Z or a X after she attacks. Does X make a different attack? Is it like a stronger one or something? Okay, yeah, let's defend a bit. Time has come for no one to realize her own strength. Also, I love how her name is Thrash now. Her own will, will uh, her, her own will, her, her own will, her own determination. Oh. Oh, I can press enter. This is easier. I'll say advises you to dodge then counter punch. Okay. That should be easy. Fast attacks. Ooh. Dude! Focusing into her blade, she will create a neo dark fountain. Then another, then another. Oh my goodness, I'm. Do 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 do. <laughs> oh, she have two phases or something? Now he's young for fighting. Indeed, indeed. Well, I don't really need to fight, then I can just keep defending. Then when the whole world is covered in darkness, she and everyone can live in bliss, free of fear and suffering. Oh, that was a fastball. Ooh. Oh, second phase. And two begins. Queen's attacks got tougher. Okay, let's get better dodge now. Chris, Susie, why don't you help me too? Create the world of your dreams. Also, my dreams. Oh. Ooh, I wasn't project predicting the double one. Susie mashed the controls trying to punch more. Yeah, that's me, basically. Ugh, I should have kept my healing items. Okay, um, we need that in a sec. Let's defend for now. Susie! Bro, just let me karate chop you and you can have as many skateboards as you want. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. The machine's inner lighting turns red. Uh oh. <laughs> well, so much for having better dodge. Okay. Self fix engaged. Uh, healing ore fired up, but the TP cost increased. Oh, no. And Chris, my dearest Trucy, you can have as many. Okay, I don't remember what you liked. Of course. Oh, I have to time this really good. I love the theme for this, though. This is great. Um, let's defend a bit more. 
Hey, was there a third guy? Oh, poor Rollsite. Oh, we're back to this. Do I have to, like, fight now? That's lame. Knight is young for fighting. Ooh, probably. Ooh, right on the money. Join me and all of you will become super strong and cool. Meanwhile, I don't need to improve because I'm already perfect and can shoot lasers from my fancy glass. I mean, that is a really interesting, like, and cool character thing. Or, like, um, design choice. Oh, that's where she's gonna go, I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's heal. I need this again. Okay, I believe I made my point. I'm going to procedurally loop my dialogue now. <laughs> oh, shoot. So I advise you to dodge. Yep, I know where I'll say. I know. Okay. okay. Time for words is over. Now is the time to fight only. I don't know what she's gonna do is the thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, well I need to use something, so I'm just gonna heal. Oh, this is- Ha, ah, just kidding, I will totally keep monologuing as I kick out your face. Oh no. Oh <laughs> my- Did she just taunt? Don't give up. The power of friendship must prevail. Oh, we just jump right back into it, thank goodness. Um, please tell me we get to... Time for words. Okay, wait. Oh, is she back at the... Ugh. Okay, let me... Oh, pff. Oh, don't even with that. There we go. Got you. Round two. And two begins, okay. Should we get, let's get better, let's get better dodge first. Chris, okay. Yep, okay, I read this. Ooh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go for a different thing. Susie. Oh yeah, that. Okay. Okay. Thank goodness the dodge is better. I can't even hit her. Here we go. Okay, let me get the laser thing now. Boom, okay, cool. <sighs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Now let's go for a fight. Let's just kick her. And do do you want me all of you come be super strong? Oh yeah, yeah. She's gonna loop her dialogue anyway, so. <gasps> no, I. Not. <laughs> okay. I have the right idea, though. I'm just bad at dodging. Nice. Okay. Already, this is so much better. Round two? More like round three, because this is how it's gonna be. Oh, wait, no, I don't wanna go into fighting just yet. I need to. I don't need dodging just yet, so. Let me just already go in with enough damage on her. Oh. I should have been ready for that. Oh, come on. That one's so stupid. Okay, better dodge. And then I can heal in a sec, too. Ooh, that was good. Self fix. Oh, come on. Okay, whatever.
Okay, I can't completely heal myself, so I'm just gonna go for the fight. Boom! Oh, is this... Yeah, okay. Okay, oh, if I stay at the bottom, that's gonna work out better. Why didn't I think of that? Ooh. Oh! Next phase! Cool. What are you gonna do now? Chris, my dearest Trucy, you can have as many. Okay, I don't remember what you liked. What is this? Uh, okay then. Round 3 begins. The Queen's tax got extreme. Okay, then we're... We're gonna go into a really good... I don't care that I need to heal, probably. Like, let's just go for it. Who's there? Oh, yeah. Whoa! Okay. Whew. As long as I dodge properly, I don't need better dodge. To me and all of you, it becomes okay. Yeah, keep up with your narcissism. This is a stupid attack. This is literally meant to, like, harm- This is literally meant to be against me, like, that attack. Because I just literally didn't know how to handle it. Did I say attack? I mean attack, oh my goodness. Okay, let me heal, just be safe. Probably could have hit her for more and killed her off, but like... Okay, I believe I made my plan- okay. Good timing. Okay, cool. Chris Susie, other guy, you have truly proven yourself to be a worthy opponent. You have earned the right to remember what your fighting machine's true purpose is. To get your own ass thrashed by me with my final attack. Haha, <laughs> bye. Oh, shoot. I just panic on that. Like, that's so unfair. Uh oh. Boom. Bye. Woo! I literally got hit by everything except that. Battle power dropping. Overheat activated. Listen well. You may have defeated me, but I still possess one thing. You three will never have. Detachable hands. Oh no. Noel, darling, honey, sweetie, gravy, uh -oh. take the pin I gave you and stab the earth. Well, I can't remove the pin from her. <laughs> Wait, did this actually play a big role in this? Creating our new supreme empire. I, I. What's wrong, Noel? I know it would make you happy. Or should I, with the last 1% of my battery? Crush Susie into eight bits. <laughs> Leave. Leave Susie alone. You think listening to you makes me happy? No. I'll never be happy. Not if I'm controlled by you. Dang, Noel. Why can't you understand that? Noel. Perhaps my com computa computations were miscalibrated. Noel. Disregard me and, with your own power, choose the world that makes you happy. Queen? C Queen! Queen, are you okay? Seems she ran out of battery power. Guess we can seal the film now, right, everybody? Everybody? Queen. She said, choose the world that makes you happy. 
I don't want to live in a world ruled by her. But if that wasn't the case, I wonder if this world wouldn't be so bad. Huh? Susie, don't you think so too? I, uh, don't you mention it. Chris, isn't this world just better? You make so many friends here, you know? I've never had an adventure like this before. With axes and battles and magic. Where everything can be healed with a little spell. No matter what happens, no one tells us what to do. Gosh, yeah. So, so even if things were really scary just now, I mean... So... <laughs> Why? Why? Why am I screwed? So, is there any reason not to? Not that I can think of. Me neither. Then, no well. Let, let this be my real apology. Oh. What is he doing? Concentrating my will into this blade, I will make a new family and unleash a bright future. A future that shines for us. A future whose brightness is born from darkness. Stop! What in the world are you all doing? Ooh. Well, we thought we would just stop. I mean, stop. Do you realize what will happen if you do that? I will just... You'll bring the roaring. Wait. When the light is subsumed by shadow. When the fountains fill the sky. This is getting interesting, holy cow. All will fall into chaos. The titans will take form from the fountains. Fountains. <laughs> and envelop the land in devastation. The surviving darkness, crushed by the darkness, will slowly, one by one, turn into statues, leaving the lighteners to fend for themselves. Lost eternally in an endless night. Is that your idea of paradise? <laughs> I mean, he's just like, well, hypothetically, that could happen. Oh, damn, I did not know that. You. You didn't? But your whole plan was to- I'm just a computer, Lamal. I don't know everything. I was just guessing based off the knight's actions. Why the heck hell would I want to end the world? Well, that's a relief. Uh, um, I'm sorry. I, I, after everything, I just caused trouble for you again, Noel. That's okay, Birdly. I understand. I thought about it while charging my battery. You cannot calculate other people's feelings. You... You... You understand how I feel? Not really, Lamal. I just don't want Noel to be sad. <laughs> well, I'm glad you two kind of get it now. Guess we all made a pretty sweet team in the end. <laughs> Why does that sound like a bird? Oh. Hmm. No, we freaking didn't! Can you let go of us now? Oh, yeah. S Susie! Hey, you still have the queen. Not half bad. R really? Uh, yeah. Just guess you gotta wake up soon, huh? Uh-uh. Everything got so intense, I forgot it was a dream. Then I just hope I get to have more dreams like this. Hey, Noel, when you wake up, um, well, I just wanted to say, uh, 
Oh. <laughs> She'd be crawling up the wall like Spider-Man. Well then, I suppose it is time for you all to exit. Running program, tender goodbye, dot exe. I'll miss each of you. Noelle, your unneeded honesty. Aw, she's gotta say stuff for each of us. Susie, your foolish bravery. Chris, your chill vibes. B burgly It it doesn't have to be a goodbye, Queen. Chris can take you back to our castle town. You and all our recruits can live there. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, ting ten tender goodbye, Don Yexi. Aw, dang it. Alright, time to do what we came here for. Hey, Noel. If you see the real Susie, just. Just know that maybe she's. Look, she doesn't have a tail, okay? Haha, <laughs> okay. I got it. Let's just go, Chris. <laughs> just drags me out of there. I love this, though. I, I'm not crying, though. This is just... <laughs> I've got something in my... What is it? Tears! No, just... Ah. It's, it's like something's in my... It's almost like the, one of the eyelashes is. Chris. Looks like we're here again. Huh. The Roaring Night. Whatever they are, they're making these fountains. But, is that really a bad thing? Since they started showing up, everything's gotten a lot more interesting, hasn't it? Well, we don't have to think about it that now. Chris, it's your turn. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Don't mind me just jamming out. His voice is still <laughs> weird. Oh, it was a dream, wasn't it? Uh, a dream? That was all a dream? Uh, of, of course, that must be a dream. Such feelings, such thoughts, oh sweet lady of justice. To think I would ever think Susie would be. <laughs> Susie! S Susie, w w what are you doing here? Uh... You invite us to study, remember? Uh, oh, right, I, uh, I... <laughs> what? Studying with them? No, well, heavens to yikes, they're there. Well, I guess we could try it. Uh-huh, my, my alarm. Uh, I'm going to be late for my shift with Miss Boom. <laughs> Miss Boom? Oh no, how is it that late already? Well, adieu, everyone. I must gather my book longings. Uh-huh. That's funny, my right arm won't move. Uh, oh, it must have fallen asleep. Here, I'll carry your books for you, Bradley. Ah, uh, Noel, you're always helping me. Thank you. Good day, Chris. Susie. Bye, Chris. And, um, bye, Susie. Um, see ya. <laughs> what? What? Are you looking for something? N nothing. Bye. <laughs> she just went wide. The heck is her problem, anyway? We treat someone who just saved the world. Chris, hey, wait a sec, Chris. We we just actually saved the world, didn't we? Damn, we really are heroes. <laughs> and no one even knows. Guess it's better that way, though, right? People freak out if they knew the world's in danger. 
No, it kind of sucks. Noel has to forget too. Whatever. Let's just get out of here. So what's through here though? Cause this spacious full of old electronics. A large person can easily fit inside. So I'm curious. Where are you supposed to talk about internet safety? Cause like, I remember on the ground near the in the room to arrive the basement, the closet. There was a bunch of stuff that resembled like the of the chapter one stuff. So I'm wondering if there's like stuff in here resembling like Cyber City. It's a recycling bin. Looks like someone accidentally printed off a lot of useless emails. It's a computer. Someone tried to check their email, but the internet is down. Oh yeah, didn't Queen mention that? It's full of many backup devices like extra mice, extra keyboards, or extra maracas. It's like the library's state-of-the-art public laptop. Someone left it on. Interesting. And who's that someone? It's a trash can. You get the feeling it doesn't have any friends. So <laughs> try to explain why you feel this way about a trash can. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Before you left, you gathered up everything in the room and burned it. <laughs> you just commit arson. <laughs> oh, hello there. I love reading books. Especially the books upstairs. How to care for a human. It's a book for monsters on how to care for human. Yes. Look in the back. According to the card in the back, looks like your mother took it out repeatedly many years ago. That's... I like that. It's a weekly cartoon review. Just looking at cartoon criticism is sapping your energy rapidly. Man, it got late, didn't it? Guess you should go home, huh? Oh, traffic's unblocked. <laughs> Alright, you don't have to say it. Don't want to walk home by yourself, huh? Well, you, if you're gonna make me, I guess. Yay, friend! Let's go. Hospital. Oh yeah, you. Here to make an appointment? No, just here to hang out. I see. I love how there's only like two rooms. Silver Drake, I've never been this boss before. Alright, hand it over, honey. I got this. No, Dad, this isn't my battle. So, um, how about you just telling me what to do? Uh, sure. How about trying fire shock? I'd love to, Dad, but the mage left the party. Oh, yeah. How about one of your 99 blaze potions? Um, I'm saving those? What? Your birthday? Come on, live a little. Okay, Dad, this one's for you. Yeah! It reflects fire attacks. Ah, <laughs> whoops. Wait, <laughs> oh, whoops. Hey, you gotta heal. I wish I knew healing magic in real life. That'd make you feel better, and it wouldn't just be me and Mom. Your mother is. Hey, it's okay, sweetheart. I'm getting better. I'll even be able to go to church tomorrow. Really? Are you are sure you're okay? All days happen whether you like it or not. I don't know what to voice to give this guy. It's like... Even though everyone likes holidays. Well, gotta go home soon or mom will call. See you tomorrow, honey. Bye, Dad. Love you. Susie, why are you here? Hell if I know. Sorry, guys. This game's only one player. Um, Dad, this is, um, Susie. Oh, this is Susie. Susie, nice. Heard a lot about you. You, uh, have? <laughs> Love that I give her a deeper voice than him. I should just give him, like, an Asgore voice, honestly, but, like, not exactly Asgore. Cool, think I have to go now. Susie, huh? Yeah? Lay a finger on her and I'll kick your ass. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. Well, kind of kidding. <laughs> well, I love him. What a great lug. <gasps> oh, Shiner? Looks like she's resting her voice. Good for her. Alright, let's see what else we got. Police! Oh, Alfie's. Hell if I'm going any further. 
already close enough to getting banned from school. I don't want to be banned from outside of school, too. That's a thing, right? Alright. Hi, hey, Alfie's. Oh, she's waiting for Undyne! Hey, Chris. Getting your project done? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, my bike gets, uh, yeah, to totaled. I, um, I had a little crash here. You see, there was this pol police officer, and there. It's complicated. How are you doing? Wait, is she with Alfie's? No, okay. Complain about police. <laughs> We're going that route. <laughs> Talk about school. Oh, how's your project going with her, Susie? What? You, you went to the library? Together? Noelle and Birdly? That's amazing, Chris. And, um, while you were there, this has nothing to do with me, but the teen zone. Seems to have some g good anime reviews, you know? Not sure if you and the gang were ch checking that out as you studied. Next time you go, you might want to. Casually bring that up among your fellow teens. I I know your dad liked Mew Mew too, at least. Uh, again, nothing to do with me. <laughs> oh yeah. Huh. Interesting. Hello. Oh. No, the dogs! Wait, why are they in jail? Hey, get out of the road! Uh, sorry, bad habit. Anything I can help you with, punk? I don't know what voice to give Undyne, but I just kind of wing it. A super dangerous alternate world in the library? Where are appearing? People might fall inside? <laughs> Listen, punk. <laughs> you seriously think I'm gonna believe that? <laughs> Dark world. <laughs> seriously? <laughs> oh. Oops. Well. Borf. Uh, hey, wait! Uh, not again! Looks like I gotta go recapture those criminals. Oh, there's an obstacle. Hey, by the way, that yellow glasses lady. Is she your teacher? She kinda had an accident yesterday, earlier with her uh, bike. Just wanted to make sure she was feeling better. So, uh, give her this. Got a harp shaped box of candies that says, Get well soon. That is so sweet. Has to, to your bike hastily scrawled underneath to get well soon. Aww. It's basically Susie and Noel all over again. This is second generation Susie and Noel. Look, get well soon's all the store had. Open it and I'll arrest you. Look. I'll even put a note on it. Now stop interrupting me, I gotta go. Got the previously described box of candy with a note on it. An Upsta book. Oh, jailbreak. I'll sound the alarm. Oh, this is a track remix version of it. Wait, what are the flowers? Well cared for flowers, nice. Okay. It's more police tape. It says, nah, I mean it. It's not clear what was oh, it's not clear what was meant by that. Oh yeah, gotta give the thing. Huh? Chris, do you have something for me? Hoard chocolate, not nah, kidding. Huh? Chris? What is that you're giving me? Uh, a box of heart-shaped chocolates? Whoa, 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 no, I can't accept that from you. What, it's from the police? You mean, sh she's giving me this? Um, um, get well soon, gift to my bike? A and, um, there's a note on this that says, Open this and I'll arrest you, you little punk. Chris, I to tell her I appreciate it. Oh, that's sweet. Alright, let's go. Yay! Best friends! Wait, what time is it? Okay. Yeah, we got more time. I want to see Asgore at some point, because I don't know if I saw him at, during chapter 1. Hey Christian, will you go check on Lancer? She'll be back in the school closet, right? Oh wait. Oh wait, I can go down here first too, okay. Town Hall? <gasps> yeah, and they're wearing flannels! Oh my goodness, I have so much respect for them. I love this. Missed a spot. Nothing like admiring the great paint job me and my bro did on our church. Oh, that is- I just love this. This is such, like, a nice image. I'm not Jerry. I'm Terry. I'm super cool. I totally don't have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, Terry, say it again. So you don't have to go to the <laughs> Okay.
Wait, what's this? Oh yeah, there's like different graves like Shiner and Gerson. Alright, wait, who are you though? Chris, welcome. Did you seek something from me? Asriel. Ah, Chris, your brother. He's a very kind young man. Perhaps even a little overzealous in his younger days. He would visit me often to confess to various sins. Despite the absence of sin or confession in our religion. <laughs> Remember his small face sobbing as he admitted he had. Dropped the lizard in the pit to jump high. Nearly admitting the fact that he had done so in a vi videos game. He also confessed to his various sins on your behalf, begging for your forgiveness for dropping the lizard on purpose. I would always forgive him and send him home. That is so sweet. Like, it's interesting, like, hearing, like, the culture of this. Like, it's like a church, but it's like the absence of, like, sin and stuff. Because, like, as a guy who's gone to church a lot, like, that's it's definitely an interesting custom. Wait. Um, Gerson. It's been a few years since my father passed. Oh. Fans of his famous book series, The Lord of the Hammer. We still receive condolences from them until just recently. All the people stopped writing? A brave man, brilliant and sharp. Chris, it is a shame you were not able to have him as a teacher. And difficult for Miss Alfie's as his replacement. Let's pray that the angel will smile upon her. Oh, that's... Oh. That makes me sad. As per the ritual, a hammer is buried in the earth here. Symbolizes his existence. Connect his hammer to the divine. Wait. Spirit to the divine? Originally a smith by trade, he began writing history. It's made it turn into telling stories. Does it mean to entertain his children? That such a story, created for such a simple purpose, can blossom into such a large, wonderful, world-changing thing. That's the majesty of words, Chris. My father is blessed to have such a talent for writing. Crystal, a snow... Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Oof. Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Oh, yeah. So, uh, this is your idea of hanging out, Chris? Going to the graveyard? Or to me, I guess. Wait, do we not get a... Isn't that, like, Shiner's sister or something? You heard Alvin mumbling to himself as he walked away. Were you proud of me, father? And is it right for this hammer, too? Hmm. Wait, what's down here? Oh yeah, is this the creepy thing? It is! Yo, it's Monster Kid! You think it's true? You really think there's... What, you chicken? <laughs> you got a beak and wings. Like a chicken? No, just... I ain't afraid. Only kids believe that stuff. But Chris... You can't be a weenie like Chris. Oh, she's gonna be like, you dare call him Chris. You wanna say that again? My inner edginess came out. Susie, didn't see you there. Wow. Really something scary in there, huh? Uh. Sounds to me like you'd better worry. About what's out here first. You okay, Chris? What's the deal with this place? Well, you don't gotta talk about it. Interesting. Lore? Ooh. I mean, I know this game has the lore to it. Like, there is obviously some weird stuff going on. Hold on, I'm just checking out my hair. It's doing great right now, but like... This is interesting. What, is the next game... Are we gonna, or I mean, not next game, next chapter, do we get hang out with Monster Kid? Okay, who are you? Having a wide open space is great for us kids. Sometimes it's good to get your freak out. <laughs> nice. I tried to play baseball, but that kid kept dancing in the middle of the lot. I don't feel like there's any way to stop him. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Put me in, coach! Put me in! That bald guy keeps trying to show me something from his briefcase. Is it a bribe? I'm really deep into politics now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You're looking for the mayor. She's very, very busy preparing for the festival. Who is the mayor? I forgot. Oh, I can't get past you. Well, well, if it isn't the teens, our beloved rate rats of the city. You want to get into politics? 
first. You better graduate from diaper school first. That's what I did, and look at me now. I don't even work here. <laughs> Alright. Um, here we go. The school! Oh, oh yeah, we have to go in the <laughs> the basement. Here we go. Boom! <gasps> Queen! So this is your castle town. It's not bad. Chris, Susie, on behalf of everyone I oppressed, thank you. I'm going to be your wacky roommate now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like how there was redemption for her, because with Chaos King, he was just like, <laughs> Chris, I bet you have a lot of people to talk to, but you don't have to do everything at once. So even take a break anytime you want, okay? Uh, hole in the wall, nothing inside. I love this damn music so much. I just really want to finish everything. Well, not super fast, but... Oh yeah, I can't go past you, right? Yeah, it's sealed off. There's... Nice. Music. Play music. Oh, this is cool. Wait, it was like the... Oh, wait. That's not the the fight the fight theme. <laughs> bum bum bum. Oh, this is the theme, I think. I think there's more. Lancer. Good song. No. Bye. I don't know. We'll go past the hour mark if we need to. I'm not super stressed. Party do Oh, yeah, this. Oh, welcome home. Things have changed again here in Griffin Town. That scared me for a second. I was like, wait, how did they know my name? Huh, huh, I wonder if she'll be back. Hey, boss, we're just reminiscing about finding you. <laughs> I have the bakery. Oh. Ho ho, I am Seth Blanther. Try my delicious hand formed cookies. They are free for a price. What's the price? Zero dollars. Take cookie. I don't pronounce you cookie in life. Well, it's a cookie. Alright. <laughs> Thanks, bud. <laughs> Go back to the shop. Let's see how he's doing. Oh, very fresh space. Okay, warms this old fluff to see such hope. Wait, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave just because I can't remember his voice. I definitely like the voice I gave him at one point, but hello, our masters. Thank you for such a wide space to clean. People here have such clean, clean hearts as well. Sukiri. Oh. Oh no, I just... After a long day, the town has grown once again. I just don't want to read all the dialogue for these people. I'm, I'm not trying to be racist towards Dark Nurse. <laughs> but, I don't know, it's just the people in the light world are just like... Okay, that does, I'm... <laughs> but... It's just like all the enemies I just don't really care about. Most of them, at least. There are a few. The hat rack. Oh, who's this guy? He's scary. Living quarter for bad guys. Or do we have any over here? Here he is. You may have bested me, but you'll soon face someone more fearsome, more tyrannical than you could ever imagine. 
Queen, we already met her. What? Oh. Wow, nice hamster wheel. So you too have come to me humiliate me. No, I'm serious, it's cool. So are they like friends or something? That water bottle, however. Do not speak ill of the royal water ball. He's <laughs> wicked. It. It's nothing compared to the one at my mansion. Hmph. Materialistic as always. Materialism evaluation denied. I simply give myself the treatment I deserve. You step curled up on a dirty throne every day. Enough, wench! What, you, what purpose have you here, Queenie Beanie? Just thought I would send a message, Kingy Wingy, that you don't have to worry about the answer. I'll be looking after him from now on. After all, I am his mother. Wall plot twist. When was that decided? Arbitrarily, right now. Hmm. Do what you please with the boy. But if he cries, bounce him on the ground like a ball. I think it is time to abort this conversation. As you wish. Oh, quite sorry, my king. Queen hath a new man about town round. <laughs> Ooh. Yahoo! Uh, I think I left my puzzle on. Post haste! Who was that? Uh, that was my son's lesser father. I cannot calculate someone less than you. Be gone! Bye bye, Kingy Wingy. That's interesting. By the way, did you want anything from the store? Cashews. <laughs> Order processed. That's sweet. Cause he's not- I love that it's not- he's now not like a two-dimensional just like villain kind of thing. Like he still like did like really screwed up shit with like, like um just throwing Lancer- or he was literally going to throw Lancer off a cliff but like this definitely adds like a different like nice perspective to it because he's like he's not completely bad he's just like he just thinks like i guess like that he needs to be the big bado i guess something like that i love this lily chris tooth paste boy queen is teaching me all sorts of things about being a bad guy she's like how i put this a third flyer than me. A girl bad if you were. <laughs> you mean a mom? Welcome, this entire castle is not my room. Uh, um, I was going to set up something upstairs. Why, I already have everything I could ever want. Friendship, fans, and a small round boy. I'll go and play with your friends, Peach Boy. Peace Boy, Peace Boy. I'm leaving. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We got the statue. <laughs> Jealous of my cool statue, Chris. Oh, what? No, it's not me. It's just cool. Oh, the icy pillow. This maybe isn't the best thing in your room. <laughs> I don't care. We stole it anyways. I mean, it's probably for the best since, like, the stuff in the in the other Dark Fountain world can't exist now, I guess. The door's locked. Oh, that's sad. So if I didn't recruit anyone, then they're just probably just bleeped out of existence. So is that so? I wonder how that salesman guy is doing then. Okay, I think. Yeah. All right. It is time for us to vacate the premises. Bye, Raw say. Is Susie gonna spend the night? And no, that's not weird. Because we are platonic best friends. Um. Wait. Oh. <gasps> Sands! Hey, what's up? Occupation. Hey, you the boss around here? Me? I'm just a janitor. Then where's the cashier? Cashier? We don't have one. Then who do we buy stuff from? Me. <laughs> then that makes you the cashier. Nope. I'm just the janitor. 
I'm just filling in. Are there any other employees? Nope. <laughs> it's literally like the Patrick Star meme where it's just like, this is your wallet, right? Wait. Wait, no, no, no. Okay, this is your ID, right? And it, I found it in your wallet. Makes sense to me. So that would make this wallet... Wait, this... I'm having a brain aneurysm right now. Um, So that would make this your wallet. Makes sense to me. But then take it. It's not mine. <laughs> that took way too long to freaking sort out. <laughs> then why don't you hire someone else? Whoa, you think I can afford that on a janitor's salary? <laughs> uh, love you, Sans. Buy things. Hey, welcome to the convenience store. You want to buy something? Put it in the basket and bring it here. In case you didn't know what a store was. Hey, firmly grasp. I need to do his voice a bit better. Throw some bagels and treats. Hey, Chris. We'll see if we can fit inside. If you just crouch under down on their waffles. Damn, think someone's looking. Uh -huh. Hey, hey. Wait. <laughs> hey, hey. We'll get something? Why, uh, yes, I think I left my eggs on the counter. Guess your memory's not what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> There's really egg on my face now, is there not? <laughs> You're ex excused. Uh, I'm sin, sin's the skeleton. Now it sounds as if you are egging me on. Egg on or egg off? I, why do I keep s Egg on or egg off? I expect a lot from you. Well, I am exceptional. <laughs> and don't forget. <laughs> and don't forget me, your egg's husband. Uh, hello, Asgore. Tori, I didn't expect to see you here, but I. I have some extra flowers, and I was wondering if. Oh, I was just about to go, actually. Uh, <laughs> uh sure. Home is where the heart is. Um, she shoves him, probably. Um, so when Azriel comes home... Yes, we should all discuss that together soon. Donkey donkey, say hi to Chris for me. Of course. Have a nice day. My character voices are so off, I do apologize. You know what I want, Bone Man? Yep. Free pickles. Why, thank you. Can I ask? What kind of flowers do you think would make her remember how she felt before? Uh, maybe you should talk to your plants about that. <laughs> Don't worry, they're the first ones I asked. They're such good listeners, you know, flowers. Well, yeah, nothing like a captive audience. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I even keep them in glass. Uh, like that movie. Yes, it's... It's very similar to that movie. Well, have a good one. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm s I'm sorry. I do apologize. Hey, Chris. Uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, brother. Sorry, kid. The brother thing's gonna have to wait. How long? Maybe a day. Maybe another two years. Just keeping track at this point. Furious wreck. <laughs> See, jerky is candy. Wait, jerky is candy. And uh, peanuts, too. Actually, they're a legamy. Peanuts? Jerky. <laughs> Why are my voices just fusing together? Thank you, though, Sans. Knock, knock, knock. Faintly, faintly. A trossel. Growing further away. A bone trossel. Oh, apartments. Oh. <laughs> like, little Chrissy, you hear? That guy at the pizza place? Gosh, what was his name? Pizza Pants? Heard he got, like, a super hot girlfriend. What was her name? Like, uh. <laughs> pizza Rena? <laughs> anyway, what did you like want to talk? Don't talk. <laughs> Chrissy, like, guess what? Today I, like, went to the beach to play my uke, and, like, guess who's already there? That copycat playing the same song I wanted to play. Oh my gosh, cat on the beach, grody. Did she, like, get lost looking for the litter box? So, like, I tried to, like, play the same song, too. 
to, you know, assert my ukulele dominance. And we end up, uh, get this, playing the whole song together. Like, oh my gosh, who does this girl think she is? She thinks she can just, like, harmonize with me? Uh, I can't stand her. Because that's free milk, it's okay. <gasps> I don't know. Yo, uh, Chris, uh, is that you? Uh, we're not hanging out if Susie's with you. Chris, Susie sucks. Why didn't you stop her? What? Hmm, that knocking. It's amateur. You've still got a long way to go. That knocking. Oh. Bruh. Ooh, is that a human? If humans are made of bones, where do skeletons come from? Papyrus? I'm not talking to her. <laughs> QC's dining. Wait, oh, so she hates me. So, what if I took Jock Boy's hat once? I look cool. Jockington fans. The crazy man. I missed that. <laughs> oh, what? I just want to go home, but I'm still stuck in traffic jam. Even though it's only one other person. <laughs> what do you get stuck trying to parallel park? <laughs> this is a great parking place. I can see myself settling down here. Oh, no. That poor guy. Oh my gosh. The pizza sauce is boiling red. Burbling, burning like my blood yearns for battle. Ah! I, the warrior, shall show it the wizard's fists. Wow, the co-worker seems so energetic lately. I don't know what's happened, but... Seeing him happy makes me happy too. Oh, a customer. Would you like a blue soft serve? Alright, let's see. Little buddy, you aren't gonna believe this. I've got a girlfriend, Asriel. You've got to tell. Oh, I thought you were saying Asriel was his girlfriend. I'm like, Asriel's a girl now. You gotta tell Asriel right now. He's gonna be so proud of me. Huh? What she look like? A uh, little buddy. How do I put it? I don't actually know. I haven't met her in real life. But from the way she texts, gosh, little buddy, she must be stacked. Stop conversation. That's right. We don't need to say any more. Go ahead and tell Ezreal right now. Okay. Wolf lady, how are you? Double ice pizza. Great. Ice wolf. Big customer. Ice wolf. Maybe only customer. <laughs> Alright. Let's go up, up, and away. There's so much. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording. Not- Okay. And I'm gonna start back up just so I can actually make this all into one episode. Alright. Let me see this. Okay, cat. There's a cat flap. It's locked. Somehow. It's a broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. There's some kind of scratching and hissing from inside. The lizard family? Interesting. No. What, what, what? If you're looking for Blueki, they aren't here. Unless you're looking for someone else. You. Me, me, me. What have I got to say to you? Nothing. I could have even recognize a pathetic face like that. By the way, say hi to your dad for me. Wait, wait, wait. Don't do it. He doesn't know. I... nothing. <laughs> Interesting. <gasps> no, I can't go see Asgore. I want to buy flowers, but the store's closed. The are around backs unlocked, but I don't think I should go in. Can I? Can I? Oop. <laughs> it's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and the country CDs. <gasps> oh, he listens to country. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Listen up. See that weird circle on the beach? Yesterday I waited on it, and something weird came out. Of course, it's not yesterday anymore, so too bad. <laughs> oh. Is this- Ooh, is this gonna be the next chapter where it's like an underwater world? That would be interesting. Chris just drowns instantly. Hmm. Oh, frog it! Rabbit, rabbit. I sometimes hear beautiful singing from that house over there. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. <laughs> I just figured I'd say it like that. Yay! It's your mom's van. Nice. Chris, you going home? Yeah. Alright. Then, I guess it's goodbye for today. See you tomorrow, Chris. Chris, how was studying with you? 
Why, Chris, is that your friend? Why don't you invite her inside? Uh, I mean, I, I... Chris, I should, um, probably get going and... I was going to bake a pie. Did you want any? Guess I can come over for a bit. Yay! Feel free to come in. Oh, excuse me. I am Chris's mother, Toriel. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. I remember. Oh, you do? And you are Susie, are you not? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You, um, remember my name, too? Of course. Miss Alfie's is a good friend of mine. She often talks about you. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear it. Mm -hmm. What the hell is Alfie saying about me? Susie, why don't you wash your hands over there? Then we can bake the pie together? Make it together? Uh, but I don't know how to. Do not worry. I can teach you. Okay. Toriel being the mom. <laughs> Chris, Susie seems like a nice girl. I'm very happy you were friends with her, but... Chris, I heard from Alphys about her behavior. If by any chance she uh, influences you... Uh, leave the chalk alone, alright? <laughs> That's the only thing she cares about. Just like, dang, chalk addictions these days. Hands are washed. Wonderful. Now we can... Oh, Chris, how about you show Susie how to bake it? Dang it, but I wanted bonding from Toriel and Susie this stupid. Chris, you know how to make pie? The hell have you made me any then, dumbass? You pie horrid and piece of... <laughs> I mean, oh, oh, excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Susie, you can just call me Toriel outside of school. Okay, sweet. Huh? Chris, oh, you need to wash your hands, too. Then, I suppose I shall teach Susie for now. Susie and I will start getting ready to make the pie. Uh, we will? Wait. Wait, where do I- just in here? It's a sink, you could wash your hands here. But isn't the sink in the bathroom better? Yeah, that's kind of true. <laughs> I end up doing this anyways, even out my own house, because I'm just like, but the soap in the bathroom is so much better. I don't want to use the stupid basil soap <laughs> from the kitchen. It's the kit. It's <laughs> it's the bathroom sink. Will you run the top? It started to run. It's making a lot of noise. Curious. Oh. Something about to happen. Well, let's get the flower. So that's this bag and you just... Oops. <laughs> Susie, you have flour on your nose. Uh, I meant to do that. Thought you would stop to smell the flour. <laughs> uh, Come on. Now, on to the next part. I made her sound also, I made Toriel sound a bit like um, Queen, so I have to be careful about that. So where the <laughs> heck is Chris? Oh, Chris sir, does this sometimes. Well, they should hurry. I'm getting sleepy. Do you know what they call a sleeping Susie? Huh? What? They would call her a snoozy. Uh, <laughs> then. I guess you'd be a snoriel. <laughs> snoriel. Snoozy and Snoriel. <laughs> you really like that one, huh? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Wasn't it funny? Alright. Where the hell is Chris? <laughs> the pie is nearly done. Oh, the sugar. Wait here a moment. I left it in the car. Okay. Okay. Dude, you've wasted so much water right now. <laughs> okay, I'm just curious. What did he even do out there? Okay, I thought that would be the end, but Chris, you got some issues, bud. So, he took out his soul, put it away, and then he did something. And that, this is gonna get explained. Maybe Chris is the knight. That's interesting to think about. Yeah, Susie's just the true protagonist, of course. Hey, Chris, hurry up next time. We're already almost done. So what's next? Oh, uh, the pie. We already worked quite hard, have we not? How about we finish it later? Um, okay. Then, uh, guess I'll walk home? Wait, guess I'll walk home? Did I seriously voice that in Toriel's voice? Oh, no, no, there's no need to do that. Oh, actually, Susie, would you like to stay over? Huh? I mean, um, if it's okay, then. Here, look at this. Our couch is used to being used as a bed. It's not perfect, but we could all sleep out here. That sounds good to me, yeah. Okay, I was like... If Toriel puts Susie in my room, that's a bit sus. I mean, that's like, I know that happens in some situations, like, and, like, I'm not one to judge Toriel's parenting. She is an amazing mom, but, like, I've been like, a boy and the girl spending a night together? That's unwholesome. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't get that reference needs to bl watch Blockbox Ding and Rumpa right now. Splendid. I'll make sure everything is in order. Just call your parents, will you not? Yeah, of course. Oof. What's gonna happen? So what the hell, a sleepover? Damn, I haven't had one of those in forever, huh? <laughs> hey, Chris, it's not like someone has to tell you to sit, right? There, chill for- chill out for a sec. So now what? I got it. Maybe between the pillows here. There, knew I'd find the remote in there. You can always find good stuff wedged in the couch. Jeez, it's dusty. When did you last use this thing? Well, who cares? Let's just watch TV. So, what are we gonna marathon tonight? Blood Crushers 3? Hellbusters? Invasion of the Cat Petters? Is that curious, George? Maybe I see the movies more your speed, huh, Chris? <laughs> it's been a good day, huh, Chris? You, Rossi, Lancer, everyone. It's just cool hanging out together, right? That's why, you know, don't you think we should try to have them come to have them come to our world? Come on, think about how much better it would be. Or else I could do our homework. Lancer could live under your bed. We could all walk to school together. It'd be perfect, you know? I mean, we'd be unstoppable is what I'm saying. Seems a little far-fetched. Okay, I'm gonna be a bit- I know that's the wholesome option, but like, I wanna- I wanna see how Susie responds. What? Come on, it'd be easy. I'll say it looks like your mom, right? Just say he's a long-lost cousin. It'd be easy. At least you can even make him a fake mustache. Well, whatever. Let's just get back to watching. Oh, I didn't mean to ruin the wholesomeness, but like, I was just like, okay, this is what I would say. 
So the festival is coming up, right? That thing where the town becomes a carnival. Stupid, right? But say you had to um, take someone. And well, or I'll say. Okay. I'm gonna say Ralsei because Susie should take Noel. Like, I would just be like you, but like, no, no, no. I'm taking Ralsei. What? Why are you saying it so confused? It's not like I meant anything weird. I love how I said, like, that seems a bit far fetched. Oh, yeah, let's, let's take Ralsei. It'll work out perfectly. You know what? Forget it. Look, let's just go back to watching TV. This is what I'm talking about. A giant monster movie special. Always like them better than the giant human movies. <laughs> now this is something we can marathon. Are you ready, Chris? Twelve hours of building, bashing, car crunching, ash action. <laughs> action. Because <laughs> we are locked in, got it? Better not see you move until your eyes are bloodshot. <laughs> Let me just get comfortable here and... Just <laughs> zonked out for the night. There! <laughs> yeah, I called it. <laughs> Susie fell asleep. Please don't do anything, Chris. Uh, he's doing something. Hmm? Officer? Officer? Thank goodness, I finally got through. I thought I saw someone prowling around outside. When I checked our car, the tires looked like they'd been slashed. Officer, if you could please come over. You will soon, thank you. Was that me? They're already asleep. Oh, he was just, okay, he just slept. Okay, cool. <laughs> Tori Ellen in her little nightgown. <laughs> she just fell asleep in the armchair. Well, what's gonna happen now? Oh, I did not expect the head move to be so smooth. This just hor turned into a horror game. What's gonna happen? <gasps> Is he the knight? Is he actually the knight? Did I actually call that? Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't think, okay, I don't think Chris is the knight. There's someone probably taking over and like rips out his soul so he can't see it. And then he gets him to, do okay. Are we going to be in a TV for chapter three then? Sands? Wait, Flowey? Is it going to be Flowey? Okay, this is an interesting rendition of it. I am just so curious. Okay. Now we have time to talk. Okay. My theory might actually be right, which kind of also makes sense. Because I could see it being like an entity possessing Chris, because like that would explain why like he rips out or they rip out their heart and like then just do something like a heinous crime or something. I'm just, hmm. 
Okay, so. Whoa. Yo, this is sick. Okay. But. To be continued in chapter 3. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll talk still, but. Oh no, there's. Oh, there's. Yeah, there's six chapters also, I noticed. So the beginning. Do we not get a name for that world? I just was really curious about that. I guess it's the spade world. This is a cyber's world. But seven chapters. That will give them a lot of room to flesh out a lot of stuff. So, yeah. It boils down to, is there an entity that's possessing Chris? Is the question. Like, it makes sense, kind of. But it could also just be Chris. Because, like... Maybe, like, it makes sense, sort of. Because, like, he's, if he created the Dark Fountain right in the living room, it's like, oh, he wants to have another adventure. He wants to keep creating the adventures, which might be what happened at the computer lab. Like, maybe he went, like, during chapter one at the end, he, like, went off and then he made a Dark Fountain in the library. I just don't understand why he slashed the tires, though. That's, like, ugh. I don't know. Matt Pat's gonna have to make a theory on this. I he better, he better. He better. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching this awesome series while well, it's still not done yet, because this whole game is still not out yet. But thank you so much for watching all of chapter two of this awesome series. I I just love it. Really great world building and like obviously like lore, game design, all that. Phenomenal. Score is amazing. I already, like I said, going into this, I knew it would be great. And it was. So the voices were a bit funky, but like, that, well, I'm not a professional voice actor, so you know, that's, that's fair. But anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And spam that thumbs up with your thumbs up. Subscribe for whenever it comes out content. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!